The Fujifilm GFX 102 is the company's latest high-resolution medium format camera that brings the latest AF and video capabilities to a redesigned camera body. The Fujifilm GFX 102 will be available from September 2023 at a suggested price of $7,499. Alongside the GFX 102, Fujifilm also announced the GF 55mm f1.7 R and 2 tilt shift lenses, the GF 30mm f5.6 R WRT S and the GF 110mm f5.6 R WRT S, significantly expanding the GF series range of capabilities for architectural and product photography. The GFX 102 appears to split the difference between the original GFX 100 and the smaller, less expensive GFX 100 S. It has the smaller, single-grip body and smaller battery of the latter but the high residential removable viewfinder of the former. In terms of stills photography, Fujifilm says the new camera is enhanced primarily in terms of speed and autofocus capabilities. But in terms of capabilities, there are even greater additions on the video side of the mode switch. The sensor is a faster variant of the one used in the GFX 100 and 100S. Fujifilm says this version of the sensor has greater full well capacity, the amount of charge it can handle before clipping, letting it offer a base ISO of 80 for still shooting. It also uses revised analog-to-digital circuitry to deliver twice the readout speed. The faster sensor works in tandem with the company's latest X Processor 5 chip to deliver a range of features, many of which were first seen on the X-H2 cameras. Offset microlenses improve both image performance at the corners and AF performance when using AF points away from the center. The new processor helps improve the effectiveness of the stabilization system, using analysis of the live view feed as well as Euro sensor information to interpret camera movement. The GFX 102 achieving a rating of up to 8 EV of correction in standard tests, compared with 5.5 EV of correction with the original GFX 100. The GFX 102 also gains a new film simulation mode, Rayala ACE, a recreation of one of Fujifilm's more lifelike film stocks. It's similar to Provia but with slightly lower saturation and slightly lower contrast. It's not as big a difference as the camera's negative film modes, letting it act as an alternative default shooting mode. The GFX 102's body is something of a midpoint between the large double-gripped GFX 100 and the more compact GFX 100S. It features a more squared-off, very modern-looking design language, it's only upon seeing its rounded rectangular buttons that I realized how rare it is to see anything other than circular buttons on a camera. It's a solid, fairly heavy camera but with a well-shaped hand grip that I found comfortable to use, on the occasions I was looking to handhold the camera with one of its smaller lenses. As with previous GFX cameras, the GFX 102 expects you to use a combination of buttons and dials to change exposure settings, there are no dedicated exposure dials at all, but it lets you assign multiple parameters to a single dial, then press in on the dial to cycle between them, so you don't necessarily need to have a dedicated ISO or exposure comp button to change those settings. On the base of the camera is a series of connectors for adding the optional vertical control grip. For all the added focus on video, the GFX 102 retains the two-way tilting rear screen that we've grown to really enjoy on its cameras. This will tilt up and down or off to the right for portrait shooting. Unlike side-hinged, fully articulated screens, this keeps the screen on axis if you're shooting in the portrait orientation, making it much easier to make sense of camera movements when working that way to ground. The GFX 102 uses the same NP-W235 battery as the 100S and the larger X-Series models. It's a 16WH battery but that's pretty small for such a large sensor camera with ambitions to venture beyond the studio. The camera can, as you'd expect, charge the battery or be powered over its USB-C socket, but it's worth noting that this rules out the option of recording direct to SSD and powering the camera over USB at the same time. Thank you for watching our channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that we are enthusiastic about providing information about gadgets.